Titans. But I think you've got two, again, very aggressive team comps. RE Rek'Sai want to be throwing themselves into the team fight as well as having Gnar for the backup. Yes. Back to the laning phase. And Frederick's going to start. He's going to jump onto uh, Fnatic. Vivin, yep. He will pop his Flash pre-6. No Rift Walk available. So they do get that Here one. Here comes Rainover. Yeah, is going to try to make him pay for this one. Frederick already very low. Gets the knockup. Here comes Pepinero. But Fabivin jumping forward. And he's going to force the Flash right on back. Charm on a Rainover. Not quite enough damage. But Pepe is on the chase. The bullet. Flash. Ignite. Is it going to be enough? He really wants to pick up that red buff. And he's he going to get it. First blood on the last ticket. Mega Gnar in play as well as backup. Huni's trying to bait, but he doesn't realize Giants are going to commit to this fight. Ooh, he's going to go big Gnar onto Huni. Actually, the house is blocked by Rain over. Here comes Frederick, though. Whirlib was the bait. Here comes Pepinero. It's a 3v2. Frederick coming up with a kill, and Whirlib getting out safe. They get them. Rain over, however, it? he's going through the lane. Yep, Rydal's going to realize something is up. The jump is on. Too They're going to start chunking him down pretty low. Here we go. Jump right out of the bush. Flash is used. Oh, Audrey stayed a little too long. There we go. Steal back. Picks in the late game. It's now the reverse. Fnatic are in trouble in the early game. Oh, Here comes Frederick. Huni's in trouble himself. The knockoff. He's going to flash away from that one. Whirlib still thinking about chasing, and he goes. Big Gnar, but there is the frozen tomb. They'll find him anyways. Whirlib, can he get out of range? No, he cannot. One for one, top planners. Huni, natural tomb. Pepinera, though, I think he's in trouble. He doesn't know Rain yet. Yep, and he's going to Spirit Rush away. Can he get away, though? That's the question he tries. And the Bola. We'll pick him up as Ray. See which carry goes down first. They move into right now. Teleport, there we go. Oh, no, they're going to blow up Frederick, and they should be able to take the dragon. Fabivin is going to pick that one up, and the fight is on. Steelback in a little bit of trouble. Rydal with a massive shackles, but it won't even go off. Steelback going to be sacrificed into the pit. Whirlib, though, is going to fall as well, and they take him down. And There is Frederick making his way downtown. Whirlib, though, is in some trouble himself. Rain over in Huni. Actually, Huni taken pretty low in this. Whirlib will go down, but it looked a bit closer in that one. That's how they can win the team fight. Instant teleport from Huni, and here comes Rain over as well. Yeah, he's going to try to kick out the back line, and Frederick turns tail onto Rain over. They're already way too low for this one. Peeling off the dragon at a horrible moment. Huni should go down, however, for the Giants. It's looking pretty grim. Knockback in against the wall. Fabivin is going to pop his Zanya's Hourglass. Rain over a little bit low. They finally take down little bit than they were yesterday. But on the same token, Giants are not responding. Oh, Hoonie's got it. Yep, they found Frederick and they blow him up. Looking for Pepinero as well. Rainover jumping over and wow. everybody is there. The Spirit Rush can't save you. Pepinero, steal back. This is against three members of the Giants who are fairly close by. And Whirlip, he the wants to fight. Also, this could be a 5v4. Baron incredibly low. They're all taking low down. It's going to be picked up. The Monsoon comes out to keep them alive. Whirlib is going to be sacrificed, but that's not all for Vivin. Chasing forward. Soul Shackles. It is never going to be enough when there's that much. When you see still back, they're actually going to force it right now. Waits just a moment. The charm is on at point blank range. There's the shutdown as Steelback wanders too close to the trap. Can Giants make something out of it? Rainover is going to try to run interference, but he is just isolated from his team and after quite some time a double kill comes out and they manage to get the shutdown as you mentioned they haven't been able to really grab anything directly from it but here we go we'll have another fight right now as Rainover finds Frederick who actually goes a little bit far forward with Black Shield on taking extremely low flashing away burning and he will go down with a rocket and steal back goes right on in forward up in the top side Adri is gonna get popped and Rydal will as well the monsoon for the sustain every member of Giants is melting Whirlib is not gonna be long for this map and even the red buff helped out there Rain attempted such a risky maneuver right now with all the members of Fnatic in the area Pepinero around the side gonna not give as good as he takes flashing away he can't quite escape because Fabivin is on the chase and with the force pulse takes him down. Meanwhile, back at the Baron pit, it's not looking much better. Rainover picking up a rampage kill. A double goes over to steal back. This is their Baron. Get out of their pit. Fnatic ace, Giants secure their second Baron and they're going to take the win. That was a very, very strong reply. I do think Giants had a decent laning phase. They were showing they could respond to Fnatic's aggression, but unfortunately, they couldn't keep that level of play up. Fnatic are on the Nexus. Yeah, desperation maneuvers for Giants didn't quite work out. A massive snowballed lead for Fnatic, and they have certainly brushed the dust off of their one loss. Five and one on the score.